my friends, Jerry Rosa here in the Rosa Stringworks Workshop. It is Tuesday the 14th. We will be playing this evening at Dickie's Barbecue Pit in Rolla, Missouri around 6.30. So if you're in the area and can make it, we'd love to have you. I think only Bill Pilliard, myself, and perhaps Beverly will be there this evening. But, uh, you know, there's three of us, and hopefully we can make a noise that sounds pretty good. I got a viewer gift, another viewer gift, I might say, from Paul Taylor up in St. Louis. I think his username, uh, our comment name is ZappaPNT1 or something like that. I'm close to that. But uh, anyway, he sent me a load of uh, nozzles for uh, CA glue. And when I say a load, it's more than a lifetime supply for me. If I used one of these every single time, and these are falling out of here like crazy, out the bottom of the bag, wouldn't you know? Um, but anyway, if I used one of these every single time I got out the CA glue, I don't think I'd live long enough to go through all of them. Because there's a bunch here. That's wonderful, and thank you very much, Paul. I appreciate it. And, they, and I will use them but uh, I probably never go through all of them. And not to mention, I already had quite a few, uh, you know, quite a large stash to begin with. <laughs> and, and I've got all these little uh, pipettes too to boot, you know, these deals like this. People see me doing things and they think I should be using these and they send them to me, but uh, I do use them occasionally. And uh, in fact, I keep one on my CA glue all the time. That's, that's, a, that's one of those deals. I just cut it down. What happens is the end gets clogged, so I just cut it off shorter and shorter each time until I can't use it anymore, throw it away. I'm frugal like that, but trust me, I have plenty of these. I'll never go through all of these. If, if, if I live to be 110, I'll never go through all these. So thank you very much, I appreciate it. I'm sure someone, after I'm gone, will enjoy the heck out of them. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's a lot of those. After I'm gone and they're you know, sorting all this stuff out, they're gonna go, why did he have so many of these things? Did he use those like crazy? At least you caused a mystery there, Paul. <laughs> Thank you very much, I do appreciate it. I'm not making fun of it. I definitely will use them, just won't use them all. <laughs> Moving on, take a look at this photo. This is what I do in my spare time. I have to do this to two tractors. I got the first tractor broken in half. This is the one we use for our hay, and we're a little behind on our hay already, so uh, I gotta get this thing back together. I ordered the clutch kit. That's another 400 bucks plus for, just for the clutch kit and the bearings and things like that, and, and a part or two that I broke when taking it apart, like uh, the oil pressure uh, gauge thing uh, that had frozen up on it and when you tried to unscrew it it didn't unscrew it just twisted the line it wouldn't free up i tried everything i could think of anyway i got impatient and just twisted it off so i bought ordered a new one of those too so i've got my work cut out for me putting that thing back together that'll be fun and that's assuming i can i think i can i've done it before on that ford tractor so i assume i can do it on this now this does have the dual clutch i don't know if that's going to make it any trickier or not i have no idea. I didn't take the clutch off yet, as you can perhaps see if you know anything about that. The clutch is still on the front half. You, when I say you break a tractor in half, you literally break it in half. We'll see how all that goes as the time progresses. I'm hoping to get that done within a week. Uh, hopefully the parts will get here within a week. Today's project for me is to work on the Yamaha. This is where I left it off. Uh, if you remember, this is the one I had to uh, take the neck out of, and that was the one that gave me fits on getting the neck out of it. But I've got it back together. I've done a fret leveling and recrowning, so the frets are in pretty good shape. Now I just got to cut the new slot in here. So I'm going to get busy cutting that slot in there right after I'm done talking to you. But that's going to be it for today. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll see you tomorrow. Yeah.